내가 또 어디까지 했더라? 음, 이것도 다시 해야 돼? And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. For good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No. That was... Forget it. What do you want, Bigby? Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who is it? Please, who's at the door? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Oh, thanks for letting us finish our conversation. The ending Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, <laughs> it looks uh, expensive. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> really, I want to know. What are you trying to say? Huh? Did you come here to give us decorating tips? <laughs> Will you drop it? Is this something <laughs> about the loan you took out from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the Crooked Man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own... No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. Come on, that's a big man. I can't talk. No more ugly guy. This isn't the way people short on cash. Yeah, that's it. No more ugly guy. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle. Okay? We couldn't just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like? 한번 받아볼까? 아까는 전화 안 받아봤거든? Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Hey, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Shit. What? All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I call? Who do I call? Who do I call? What? Okay. 
둘이 애들 생각하지 마시고요. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money, you don't have... Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop. 정육 정육점을 가면은 미녀가 위로 위험해질 수 있다고 하네. 고로 나는 정육점을 가야겠다. 아니 전당포를 가야겠다. 난 미녀가 싫으니까. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Well, what are you doing? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry fillet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How? Did 그러니까 you 전당포에 it? 가면은 미녀, 미녀가 위험할 수도 있으니까 정당포 가서 미녀를 위험하게 할 거라고. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. So you do their dirty work. You look the other way. Work is work. All I do is deliver stuff. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. 염병하네. 난 이해. 아이. No. Probably. 아이. 아이 지나게 못하겠네. 소심해서. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. 나나 나 어디로 가지? 전당포. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. 자꾸 저 남자가 정육점에 가도록 뭔가 유도하는 것 같아. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crook. 그래서 나는 전당포를 가겠습니다. Help us out. What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the crooked man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing.
It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? What? Bigby's here. Oh, why are you never glamour toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sited statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what <laughs> it going to I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, you know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Bula. Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much. So forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? I know who you're talking about. Um, Og Frey? The crooked man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Yeta. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. We're nothing like him. He really grows on you. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. Last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Yeah, it's why I came down here. It'll lead me right to the crooked man if I can track it. He's been sending people to kill me. And I'd like to have a little chat about that. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. And if I just happen to find a giant mystical axe? That would be quite the magic trick. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So what? Uh... I still think you're hiding something, Jack. Maybe the axe is back here. It's not. It was bad enough in the woodsman's hands. And if it's not here, I need to track down that psycho who had it last. 
It's not here. You better hope not. Get your Shut up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Oh, boy. Bye, man, yeah. Just my luck. Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Oh, okay then. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? Pusilla? I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That wasn't. Jack was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... my fucking system. But you... You're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. It's Jersey, right? Jersey Devil? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is his ex even here? Nope, it isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? And you, I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum? So tell me what you're here for, or get the fuck out. Uh, he wanted to know where- Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You work with the Crooked Man. Until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... Ooh. Ooh. You piece of shit. Oh. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. 
Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? You talk me. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Oh. Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. This ain't gonna go. Ah. You. Die, Missy. Fuck him. Come back, you shaky. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Oh? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around, never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. I can't use the magic mirror right now. Oh no? Why not?